This isn't about Scout not going to Westwood Academy. This is about you getting back at me because I didn't consult with you about it first. No, of course not. I'm just pointing out the fact that you put me on the spot when you announced that Scout was going to Westwood in front of our daughter. Yeah, well... Well, what? <sighs> Nothing. You're right, you're right. I, uh... I did, I did blindside you. Exactly. Look, all I'm saying is that we can, we can both do better. And of course, if I could do it over again, I would come to you first. Then why didn't you? I mean, clearly Scout has been, has been feeling this way for a while. Well, I thought she would change her mind, or at least I, I hoped that she would. But the closer it got, the more she seemed to dread it, and my immediate concern was for her, her well-being. And mine isn't. Drew, that is not what I'm saying. Really? Because it sure sounded like that, like what I want and what I say, that doesn't matter at all. You think that you get the final word when it comes to what's best for our daughter? Uh, doctor's in with Cyrus now. Oh, great. So was he able to identify his attacker? Yeah, probably, but he's not. Why not? I mean, he was the victim. He said, and I quote, as I await my eternal reward, so too shall law enforcement await my cooperation. Oh. You know, I think I liked him better before his conversion. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say anything else? Yeah, he said his attacker was not to be blamed, that his so-called frailty was the reason his injuries were so bad. So what could you do with that? Nothing. I mean, we have no options, really, without a name, without any evidence we can investigate, but it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, without an account from a victim or an eyewitness, you can't bring a case, can you? If only there was someone he trusted that he would tell the truth to, you know, like, say, his sister.